this is one 3 inch ordinary carbon steel butterfly valve 3 inch 150 pound this type of ordinary carbon steel butterfly valve is used for air and water service this type of ordinary butterfly valve is having epdm rubber lining inside the body this is epdm rubber lining this is soft like this this is the rubber lining black one now this valve is in full open condition and this is lever operated valve if we want to close the valve we have to press the lever like this then we can close the valve like this like this this is closed and this is open here actually slots are there so that we can keep the valve at any position like this say this position like this this position like this this position like this so that valve opening and closing will be according to the position this is almost full closed and this is full open so in between this full closed and full position nine slots are there so that valve can be used for throttling purpose at 10 degree opening like this i am pressing the lever like this then i rotate by 10 degree it comes here then i rotate 10 degree it comes here then i rotate 10 degree it comes here it is fixed now like this we can close it and we can open it also like this this is full open and this is full closed we can keep it at any intermediate position like this in this slot like this now this valve this butterfly valve is for ordinary service if we use this type of ordinary butterfly valve of stainless steel in cold cryogenic service then what will happen due to cold effect lot of ice will form around this lever and the valve will not be operable we will not be able to operate this valve in cold condition due to lot of ice in this zone that's why this is the valve this is 4 inch butterfly valve for cryogenic service this valve is of full stainless steel there is no non metallic sheet like epdm sheet rubber sheet there is no epdm or nitrile rubber sheet and this is the bonnet extension this much of bonnet extension is there for cryogenic service butterfly valve during operation in this bonnet zone gas buffer will be there while cold liquid will flow through the valve cryogenic gas buffer will be there and cold effect will not go up to that lever point so that valve can be operated now this cryogenic valve is in full open condition and this is the extended bonnet and in the lever there are nine slots at 10 degree apart so that at any degree valve can be kept open now let us close the valve valve is closing now closing now now it is full closed it is full closed now one second open it slowly open 
keep it in intermediate position full close it full open it full open now once again full close it now another major difference between cryogenic valve and ordinary butterfly valve is in case of ordinary butterfly valve it is of centric design that means center line of valve center line of shaft and center line of disc is in same line this is the center line there is no offset in this direction and if i close it you can see there is no offset this is in same center line there is no offset in this direction and there is no offset in this direction this is called centric butterfly valve in centric butterfly valve the disc is closed here and disc presses this epdm rubber slip that's why this centric valve is not full leak proof now you can see the difference of disc configuration of cryogenic butterfly valve this cryogenic butterfly valve is having eccentric disc this disc is inside that means that side that means not at the center of the valve just rotate it rotate it rotate it it is not at this center disc is towards this side this side rotate rotate and from this side disc is inside rotate little bit inside so that's why this valve is called eccentric butterfly valve this is eccentric now let us see the disc configuration of eccentric butterfly valve from top of the valve the disc is on that side now rotate the valve open the valve now you can see the disc configuration full open this is full open now this is the valve center and this is the disc center so valve center or shaft center and disc center is different there is this much of offset between valve center and disc center that's why this valve is called eccentric butterfly valve and this eccentric butterfly valve is having better performance or better sealing capacity now i am closing the valve and you can see that there is no soft seat everything is of metal this disc is of full metal and this inside seat inside body surface and inside seating surface is of full metal now close the valve slowly now the valve has been fully closed over the body seat now we are looking to the valve from opposite side the disc is now in closed condition now open the valve slowly open 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 now you can see this is the disc and this is the shaft so this is the eccentricity that's why this valve is offset or eccentric butterfly valve and this is the soft ptfe seat this white is the soft ptfe seat this disc is of full metal and having smooth taper surface like this when 
the disc is closed then this disc pressed over the body over this white ptfe sheet now close the valve slowly now you can see that this soft ptfe sheet has been pressed over the valve disc and another point this type of eccentric butterfly valve is not bidirectional in this case the preferred direction of flow is towards the seal that means prefer flow will be like this that means towards the seal towards this seal this will be the preferred flow direction that means flow direction towards the seal that means this soft seal this type of centric butterfly valve is bidirectional that means flow can be from this side or from this side now this type of ordinary butterfly valve can be installed vertically like this and can be operated like this even it can be installed on vertical piping like this like this and can be operated like this even it can be installed like this also and can be operated like this even can be installed on horizontal pipeline like this and can be operated like this now this type of cryogenic butterfly valve should be installed like this vertically so that cold liquid will go through the valve and vapor means cryogenic vapor will be accumulated in this extended bonnet zone and that cryogenic vapor will become warm so that this portion will act as gas buffer and this portion will not be cold and ice will not be accumulated in this portion and valve can be operated we should not install this type of cryogenic valve in horizontal plane with stem horizontal in that case when cold liquid will flow then cold liquid will go through the extended bonnet that side and entire bonnet will become cold and lot of ice will be formed over the bonnet and over the lever so that valve cannot be operated so always this type of cryogenic valve should be installed vertically up this is one gear operated stainless steel eccentric butterfly valve for ordinary service but not for cryogenic service valve opens like this through gear box although this entire valve is of stainless steel but if we use this valve in cryogenic service then due to cold cryogenic effect all this part will be full of ice and valve cannot be operated so this type of valve is of stainless steel valve but not a cryogenic valve now you can see one gear operated extended bonnet type eccentric cryogenic valve entire valve is of stainless steel this is the extended bonnet where cryogenic vapor will be there and no cold effect will go up to valve top and 
there will not be any problem to operate the valve. Now we are opening the valve and you can see the eccentric disc configuration. This is the disc and this is soft PTFE seat. Now you can see the disc eccentricity with respect to valve center. Once again we are opening and closing the valve. Valve disc is inside from this side, these are valve shafts and this is disc stopper. On this side, valve disc is almost flashed with valve face. Now this is the valve disc and this white seat is soft PTFE seat. In this configuration, preferred flow direction is towards this soft PTFE seat. Now the valve is being closed and soft PTFE seat will be pressed. From this side you can see how soft PTFE seat is pressed by the disc while closing the valve. 